Hello and welcome back to another bloody good vaping. So today I'm going to be taking a look at a rebuildable atomizer from a company that probably doesn't need any introduction, and that is the Fun 5 from Svomesto. Now the majority of you, um, especially those that probably watch this channel, are very familiar with the Fun. We probably all had a Fun before. Um, I know for me, the uh, Fun Lite was probably the first high-end atomizer I ever bought, and uh, basically my whole coiling and rebuilding for my self-experience began on a Fun Lite. Um, there's been many different um, incarnations of the K-Fun from the V2.1 Mini, um, the 3.1 ES, which was pretty much the uh, grandfather of uh, rebuildable atomizers um, for, all, for, for a lot of us. We then had the uh, K-Fun 4, which was a bit hit and miss um, with people's expectations. You know, some, of, some people do champion it, and uh, some people just had quite a torrid time with the K-Fun 4. Like myself, wasn't too keen on the K-Fun 4 myself. Then they brought out the K-Fun 3 Mini, um, I believe that's called, um, which sort of uh, made people really appeal to. Again, people loved it, um, had some great sort of extras and benefits on that. And now we've got the K-Fun 5, which is almost... Like it's taken all the best bits from the K Fun V3 Mini and incorporated them into a uh, bigger tank for a larger capacity and obviously added some extra spin to it itself. Now it's made from 316 grade stainless steel. Um, we do have adjustable airflow, exterior uh, adjustable airflow on this one now. It's uh, with a, a range from 1.8, uh, 2.2, 2.7, and true 3.2 mil airflow. So this is the most airflow K Fun um, Spomesto has ever provided on their K Fun series. We have juice control on this, um, almost in reverse to what we had on the K-Fun 4. It's uh, a lot easier to do on this one now, a lot less confusing. Um, we do come with a quartz glass tank and a stainless steel tank. With the glass tank, it holds up to four millijoules, and with the stainless steel tank, it holds up to five millijoules. So plenty, plenty of capacity there. Comes with a um, heat-free or a heat-resistant um, drip tip with a palm inlay as well. Top filling um, as well, uh, which are pretty much very similar to the K Fun 4, but um, now we have one full complete top cap here, and we also have it beveled down so any excess juice will run straight back into the tank. And uh, yeah, it's a big boy though, it's a uh, 60 mil in height from the base to uh, not including the drip tip, so uh, very, very tall indeed. But like I said, it does hold up to five mil of juice. So if uh, capacity is your thing, this is gonna be right up your street. We've now got six uh, juice channels as well, um, instead of the five I believe we got for the uh, K-Fun 4, and they have been increased as well and uh, at a slightly different angle to allow more uh, thicker juices to get to that wick. I'm just gonna take a quick blast now. Very nice indeed. Um, the deck has been totally redesigned as well. The deck has been enlarged. And it's also, um, they put in these sort of hooks um, to aid coiling as well, especially for sort of thicker wires. So if you know your Clapton's are your thing or twisted wire is all your thing, they've actually used this to uh, their advantage and actually redesigned their deck to allow for, say, different stages of building, whether you are doing small, medium, or quite oversized coils. Well, before I get into any more details about this price, what I think about it, where to get it from, etc., 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 let's have a pop down at the table now. Let's have a look at it up close. Let's bungle wig in it, and then we'll come back and give it a bloody good vaping. Shave. So here we have the K Fun V5, made from 316 grade stainless steel. 22 mil in diameter on these steel pieces here. We're just a little bit over on the airflow control ring, about 22.7 mil. But that's um, obviously because we need to raise the airflow control ring up to turn it. So it needs to go over that steel piece. So um, we are 22 mil actually on the bottom here. It's just this top section here. It's about 22.7. It comes with a quartz glass tank and also a stainless steel tank as well. The stainless steel tank actually fits flush with these two steel pieces, so you are gonna be able to get more juice capacity. With the stainless steel tank, we're able to get five mil. Um, there it is, just getting in focus. 
um, it is actually engraved as well and with the quartz glass tank we're actually able to get four mil of juice it comes obviously with its own drip tip here um, it is removable 510 drip tip twin o-rings in there you can use whatever drip tip you want it's an anti-heat resistance drip tip with a pom inlay as well now this stands from 60 mil from the base to the top here so uh, not including the drip tip we are 60 mil in height um, so this is no short atomizer indeed we now have adjustable airflow with this exterior um, airflow control ring here and in order to see them we do have these little markings at the bottom if you can see there we have one one little indent there for 1.8 two for 2.2 .2, three for 2.7 and four for the full 3.2 mil. So you would just basically place your slots at your desired um, airflow there. I'm at four there, so it'd be 3.2. And then pull down. And that will stop it from turning and also use for your juice control. It is a top fill. So basically we would turn off completely our juice control by going fully clockwise until there's no more room to move. And then you just remove your top cap here and fill through the top. We, the uh, This top section here has actually been beveled in, so any excess juice would no longer seep out. It will just run directly straight into the tank, uh, which is a nice touch, I think. Just put that back on. We do have some nice little sort of grooves made into this top section here now to make it really easy to basically undo that top cap with your fingers. So if you are, have got slippery fingers or something, you've now got those grooves to make it a lot easier to remove that top cap. On the bottom here, we do have a stainless steel 510. It's non-adjustable. Basically, you would just remove the 510 piece. You also have your Sfoam Mesto engraving there and also your serial number. Remove the deck. Basically hold on to your tank section. And there you can see your deck itself. The deck has been enlarged. You can see we've got quite nice big screws there now. Nice deep juice wells. And also this hook mechanism, uh, these hooks that have been designed for it, which basically aids in coiling and can help with bigger, thicker wire. So, I mean, if you're using, say, normal size 0.3 mil and you're just going to do a normal sort of micro coil or something like that, you'd feed one of the leads through here, wrap it underneath the... Uh, the screw itself and then round one of the hooks but if you was going to use say thicker gauge wire or want claptons or something like that you can then just wrap them underneath these hooks because they actually sit inwards and can go then directly underneath the screw and then uh, you can catch and use that thicker wire if you want to you do get a spares pack with uh, plenty of o-rings and actual longer screws um, so that you can actually aid for a lot thicker wire indeed. They do not thread all the way down, so don't try and force them. They're there purely to trap thicker gauge wire. You can see now you've got quite two nice big deep juice wells for your cotton, each having two holes that fed down for the juice control that sit inside here. The juice control works very easy on this one. Let's just completely close it by going clockwise as if we're just tightening up the bottom of the deck to the tank itself. We're now fully closed off and if we want to let some juice in we basically hold on to the tank, give it two full turns and then that will open up our juice control and allow a lot more liquid onto our coil. Let's have a little look now at the chamber itself so you have your chamber and your chimney pretty much let's get that in focus for you we now have six holes here to allow our juice to feed that coil nice and wide a lot wider than they were on the k fun 4 and instead of rounded, they're sort of more square and aim downwards so the juice actually runs down to that coil. 
And if we just want to put our stainless steel tank on, you can see that fits now completely flush with our steel pieces. And it also gives a really nice look to the atomizer itself, which will now hold five mil of juice. So uh, let's go down to the deck now and uh, put a build in it. Okay, now before we get started, just want to remind everybody, and uh, well, basically it's Fomesto already putting out something about this and that. Just before you uh, start building on this or put it together or whatever, uh, make sure you, um, you juice up the O-rings. Uh, around the bottom of the deck here and obviously down here for your juice control always keep that lubed up you know even after cleaning and, and obviously when it dries you don't want these o-rings to get dry it may be a struggle to get on and off and to turn the juice control as well um okay so uh yeah i'm just going to do that again now lovely okay i'm going to do a simple build uh cue simple jack comments in the uh youtube on the video uh but yeah sort of like it's me nice and simple builds uh that's all i need but what i'm going to do is i've raised the screws just above those hooks and um what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put uh i've got seven wraps here a 0.3 canthal over a three mil bit and i'm just going to put my three mil bit in the middle and i'm just going to wrap round underneath the screw here because i'm using quite thin gauge wire i'm going to go underneath the screw and the other side around the hook. Nice and easy there. And that's one down. And on the other side. Let me just move that out of the way. On the other side around the screw. And under the opposite hook. Nice and easy again. Now, if you're using a lot thicker gauge wire, which uh, a majority of you do, then you don't actually have to go under the screw. It's uh, it's a lot easier just to go under those hooks. Uh, you go under those hooks and they sit in, so you can go under them and then directly under the screw on the opposite side, uh, which makes it a lot easier, because obviously wire's not going to go in between the screw and those hooks if you're using thicker gauge wire. So you go under those hooks. Um, also, like I said earlier, you do get a bag of spares with O-rings and also some longer screws as well. Um, they don't have enough threading to screw all the way down into the deck. So uh, be mindful of that. If you do try and force them all the way into the deck, you could end up buggering up your KF5. So, um, yeah, but they're used there for thicker gauge wire. If you're going to do some really sort of large coils indeed, Clapton's or Twisted or something like that, switch to those larger screws in there, and uh, that will make easier to clamp down on those um, with the hooks. But, yeah, if you're using sort of 0.3 like this, 0.32 or something like that, you go one side of the screw and then opposite side around those hooks, which makes it really nice and easy, to be honest. Now I'm just going to trim off my excess leads. Make sure there is no bits sticking out. So you want to get them as flush as you can. You don't want any um, of these leads touching any of the steel whatsoever because you will get a short. Lovely. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to give it a quick pulse. Perfect. I'm going to get some cotton. Oh, I haven't pre-done this, I'm afraid. You have to bear with me. I'm uh, in a bit of a rush. Kids are due home. And they're noisy little bastards. So I want to get this done. And I can get their tea on. There we go. Okay, so just slide your cotton through, as always. we go i'm going to trim to probably the side of the uh, airflow control ring at the bottom here about that distance there and then just put the uh, cotton ends into those cotton wells there they're nice and deep you can get quite a nice bit in there don't smash it down of course There is plenty of room for a nice amount of cotton. 
Just going to juice that cotton up ready. Take my tank section. I've already got juice in here because uh, I saved it from earlier because I'm a tight bastard. And I'm just going to tighten it all the way down to when it stops and that will be shutting off the juice control as well. When that stops, that shut off your juice control. You can then remove your top cap. And you can fill. Put your top cap back on. And then by grabbing the base without wet hands, one, two full turns. And that will open up that juice control for you. Set your wattage and you're good to go. Lovely. So there's your uh, K-Fun V5. Let's uh, go back up top. So there you have the K-Fun 5. And if you was a fan of the K-Fun V3 Mini, you're going to love this. You know, um, it's taken all the best bits from the K-Fun V3 Mini and added a few of its own for a bigger atomizer as well. You know, if you weren't a fan of the 18mm, now you've got 22mm. Um, it, it is 22mm, however, there is the top section of the uh, AFC is about 22.7. The bottom half of it is 22 but then it just comes out a little bit at 227 So uh, just to let you know that as well. You know, um, the vape on it is great. It really is brilliant for flavour, you know, uh, as you would expect from Svonesto, um, the build quality as well is absolutely top draw as well. Um, and, and and it is no way in near confusing as the K-Fun V4. You know, you now have external airflow and airflow controlling. You have 1.8, 2.2, 2.7 and 3.2, you know, so uh, the most airflow the Svonesto has ever provided on one of their K-Funds. Juice control, nice and simple to use as well. You know, just close it off completely tight and then just a couple of turns um, anti-clockwise and uh, it will open up for allow more juice into that deck. Um, however, it is top fill, okay, and um, you do get them nice big holes as well like you got on the K-Fun V4 and also on the uh, Scrape X that I've just reviewed, but you will have to shut off that juice control um, before filling it, otherwise it will flood and it will piss out from those airflow holes, um, which I've discovered a couple of times. You know, I'm a bit of a scatty bastard, so a couple of times I've forgotten to shut off the juice control, just I took off the top cap, filled it up, and it has leaked on me. So remember to shut off that juice control. Uh, big capacity means a big tank, and it is a big tank. This is 60 mil from the base to the top, not including the drip tip, which makes it one of the largest tanks um, out there on the market, uh, except for those sort of big other German Genesis tanks that we sort of get, you know. Um, but it is a very, very tall tank. Um, I personally do not like huge tall tanks especially now with the ease that these are for filling you know i'd understand if it, it was a pain in the ass to fill it um so we wanted a bigger juice capacity but now they're so easy to fill give us um i'm fine with 3.5 mil capacity as long as my tank isn't as big as my mod but um you know it's great looking i just i'm looking forward to a mini kit for it and that's just my opinion some of you out there are going to be like no nope, fuck it can't be bothered i really like five mils worth of juice so i don't care how tall it is for me i'm like well you know for weight distribution i prefer it to be just a little bit smaller uh, the deck on this is great um let's have it right the deck is really good it's been enlarged you know you've got nice big screws now nice big big m2 screws um, those clamped or those hooks make it so easy to coil this especially if you're planning to use bigger thicker gauge wire and they do include two other screws that are longer um, to be able to aid using say thicker claptons or twisted or things like that however those screws do not thread all the way down don't try to force them they've been designed to capture thicker wire so they do not thread all the way down 
Yeah, the hooks make it incredibly easy to throw a coil around. No fiddling about, worrying about those little screws like we used to get on the lights and the 3.1 ESs. You just go around those hooks if you're using thicker gauge wire and clamp down as they sit underneath the head of the screw. If you're using thinner wire or sort of smaller coils, pretty much like I do, it's so easy to feel, um, feed through one side of the screw and then on the outer side of the hook. Once again, making it very, very easy. Nice big thick, uh, nice big deep juice wells on either side for a good amount of cotton as well. And um, we now have those six um, juice holes from the juice control around the bottom of that chimney, which have been widened and also have been sort of, they're more facing downwards um, to allow more juice to get to the um, coil and wick itself. The top cap, um, which is really nice to just take off, um, has been beveled on this side, um, this piece here, this top section here has been beveled down, so any excess juice will travel straight back down into the tank, so it won't be leaking out, it won't seep out from that top cap now, which was a great, nice little design. Um, and the airflow control ring is uh, is great. Um, it, it can have a bit of an issue, I find, with it, because it's kind of like in a uh, hexagon shape um, that you want to you push it up to adjust your airflow and then you shut it down but if you don't actually get it completely flush with the uh, with the hexes it can sometimes stick a little bit it's not a huge deal you just have to be a little bit mindful of it but yeah works an absolute treat um, and uh, like I said the build quality on it is exceptional you know it really is a well-built um a piece of kit the flavor on it is great the flavor on it is absolutely great i've tried 50 50 um 70 30 and 80 20 in this um set it at different sort of uh, juice flow um sort of different areas of my juice flow and it all wicks absolutely fine and the flavor is very very nice indeed we've got a great big uh, nice chimney here now a nice chamber for the flavor um, and the juice control very nice and easy now there's, there's no confusion it kind of works in the opposite way of the KF4 you know completely close it off when you're filling it and then just two turns the opposite way just by grabbing the base or just by grabbing the uh, sort of tank section itself two turns plenty and it uh, really does give a flavoursome vape it's really nice indeed the airflow for me it's perfect you know i am a mouth to lung vapor um i am actually still vaping this on the uh, last setting 3.2 that's plenty for me it's really perfect it's kind of like just a bit more well it kind of feels the same as like a, like a two or something like that and that's fine for me but if you're into a lot more airflow than that then um you're still going to be kind of mouth to lunging on this you're not going to get that full lung pull that you would expect on say something with a lot more airflow obviously you know and if you want a more restrictive draw, this does go down to 1.8, but I believe they're going to be bringing out something, a, a cost-effective uh, piece that's going to fit with the KFM5 to be able to restrict that draw even more from 1.8. So keep an eye on their website. You know, if you're still into that sort of Jenny airflow restriction, then uh, they're going to bring something out to uh, basically cater for that. All in all... I think it's lovely. I think uh, the build quality, um, the ease of use and the flavour is, is exceptional. Um, really has sort of brought my eyes back into the Zvo Mesto camp. You know, I was a bit disappointed with the V4. I didn't actually um, try the V3 Mini myself because of its 18mm um, sort of size. But, um, you know, I had tried uh, one of my friend's ones and I, I really enjoyed the vape on it. I just wasn't too keen on an 18mm atomizer, but... We know this was coming out absolutely fantastic. Uh, really buzzed for it, and then thank you to Flo and Svomesto for sending me one. And uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed using it. You know, um, just the size for me. The, the the only negative I can find on this for me is the size of it. It's a it's a big 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 boy, and um, I'm just look, hoping that uh, maybe a mini kit or something to bring it down. You know, I'm not too fussed about how much juice I can carry around with me, um, especially when they're so easy to fill now. Um, I just want something a little bit more discreet on top of my mods. As mods get smaller, we kind of want atties to get smaller as well. Um, now, price. Price on these uh, on Creme de Vape at the moment are advertised at £96.95, I believe. So you're under a winner. 
um, which is refreshing, which is really nice to see. You know, it'd been quite easy for them to slap 120, 130 pound price tag on this, but uh, just under 100 pound is a uh, is a great price. You know, highly recommend it. I think it might even be, you know, um, one of the cheapest uh, atomizers in this sort of vein um there is and uh that's really good indeed now there is a small issue at the moment um they are delaying uh, international um sales outside of the eu for the time being they're just making sure with everything that's going on at the moment they're just making sure that the uh their vendors or their customers in the eu are getting them first so um if you're not in the eu um you're kind of going to be uh having to wait a little while to be able to get one from your local store or a store in your sort of country or what have you unless you order internationally of course um so yeah that's a bit of a problem at the moment they're only available on eu vendors let's take another little blast now that flavor really does pack a punch um yeah, so, I mean, if you're a fan of, of the uh, K-Fun Vape, then you're going to get this in spades. Um, it really is a joy to use. Nice and simple. Um, really great flavour as well. The deck is a joy to use. Um, you are going to be able to put different types of builds in this, you know, um, from your Claptons to your Twisteds, from your thicker gauge wire, or if you're like me and just still like your nice, simple little coils just to get that sort of flavour going, then uh, that's going to suit you as well. So there you have the K-Fun 5, 316 grade stainless steel, um, exterior airflow control from 1.8 to 3.2, uh, nice and simple juice control now, you get a quartz tank plus a stainless steel tank with the uh, capacity with the quartz at 4mm, 5mm with the stainless steel, top airflow, uh, top um, filling, I'm a, uh, top filling, um, excuse me, but do shut off that juice control when filling it for the love of God. Um, drip tip with it, um, a heat resistant drip tip as well with a palm inlay and um, a really nice build deck on this with those hooks that make coiling really, really easy indeed. Um, so thank you very much for watching this review and I will see you on the next one. Stay safe.